Hey Archivers fans, happy Halloween! Did you know that Halloween is the number one picture-taking holiday of the entire year? It really is, and I think it's because everybody that has kids has had their kids dressed up in these cute Halloween costumes and they all take pictures of them. So today, in honor of Halloween, I'm going to share with you a few picture-taking tips and a few tips on things to do with your photos after Halloween. Okay, the biggest tip I can give you is to take some of your pictures in daylight. A lot of people, they wait until the kids are ready to go out the door and they take these pictures. And if you don't have a really great fancy schmancy camera, you may not get the great pictures that you're hoping for because it's dark outside. So dress them up during the day when it's nice and bright outside. They can be in the yard or wherever you'd like them to be. Outside pictures are the best. So take them during the day. Another thing is, you know, if you live anywhere where it's cold, like I do in Minnesota, if you wait till night, the kids have big coats on under their, their costumes and it's a little bulky and it looks a little silly. So, if you can, take them during the day. Now, if you don't have time to do that today, don't panic. Take, them, take a few tonight when they get ready to go, then dress them up again tomorrow in the daylight. Take some more pictures then. What you really want is the cute, fun Halloween pictures. Now. You don't always have to have them standing in a row and everybody smile. Have them play the part. If they're a cute little witch like this one I have back here, you know, have them make their silly faces. It's even better. Okay, so after you take your pictures, what are you going to do with them? Well, my biggest tip, since Halloween is today and it's Monday, tomorrow is half price printing at Archivers. Come on in great time to print your pictures and you'll be able to see all kinds of cute samples and things to do with your pictures afterwards. So I'm going to show you some of our cute samples today of some pages and things like that um, that you could do with your photos. Now I just heard a cute um, idea just recently of somebody who takes their Halloween photos every year and does a page and puts them all in an album. So once they get to be, I don't know, between 12 and 15, I suppose, when they're done trick-or-treating, you will have basically an entire album. And if you're like me and you didn't think of that when your kids were little, it's not too late because we even have kits where you can create a little album, and I'm gonna show you that first because it's really sweet. All the directions are in this kit to make this cute little book so you can dig out all the photos that you've taken in the past and you could fill up this whole entire album and you don't even have to think of the idea because all of the directions are in it. It's got all these cute little places to put your photos. It's a really awesome idea and really, really simple and it's something that you can hang on to forever. So now I'm going to show you some of our page samples and I'm going to start way down here. There are so many cute Halloween embellishments and cool paper. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite times of the year because I love all the cool Halloween things. You could do pages in 8x8 or 12x12. You can use die cuts. There's, you can use fun scissors. You can use punches and embellishments and anything you want. Anything from very simple to very intricate. I do have to stop on this one and just show you something really cool. This owl has always been my favorite quick cut style. This is it right here. I've never seen it look this cute. This is absolutely my favorite. And that was just cut out of pattern paper. We've got some more with the silly faces. This one is really simple. This is a paper company layout. All these cute little monsters this year. Just way too much fun. So don't forget to take your pictures early and if you don't, Take them again tomorrow. Have fun trick-or-treating, and we'll see you in the store tomorrow.